boys and girls, it's me Nate from Everyday Game Study, EGS Productions at Motor City Comic Con 2015. And I'm here with the legendary makeup effects artist Tom Savini. How are you doing, sir? Like, I'm fine, I'm how, fine. How was the con? I know it's the con long. was great. No, it's always good. It's always this good. It's a great con. It's not so much about how well you do, it's the atmosphere. I love the mood of these cons. People. Yeah. What's it like knowing that you're like one of these legendary makeup effects artists that's touched pretty much on every horror film genre for the past? Well, I only know I'm legendary when you tell me. I, you know, I, I know when people you're... tell me. You know. I know. You're I'm like... just a guy from Pittsburgh. <laughs> What's no, it feels good. I feel because so many there's been so many people that have come up and said oh, they do special effects because they've been inspired by my work. One kid came up and said he had a tough life. Probably, he said he probably would have killed himself. He saw something special about me creating movie that inspired him to do it. And that gave him the will to keep up. You know? So when you hear stuff like that, it makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, right? man. Get your confidence, your, your thing going in. Oh, you're happy to have inspired people. You know? Other than a makeup effects, you are, you're an established actor as well. How was that? What was it like working on uh, various war films versus creating the monsters that are behind me here? Well, no, it's more fun being an actor. You know? It's less sticky. You know, it's less messy. No, no, I take that back. Sometimes being an actor is more messy. You know, when I did Lost Boys at Tribe, I laid in a puddle of blood for all night in freezing cold in the woods with a tank top on. You know, it's, you know, it's so glamorous. Yeah, it's so glamorous to be in a movie. Like, when you set up these, uh, what do you call them, practical jokes and pranks in the films with these special effects, yeah. what was your favorite of all time to do? Favorite effects? Um, I don't know, the helicopter zombie in Gone with the Devil is pretty cool. Or Fluffy, the creature in the crate in Green Shot. Uh, they're all my children, it's, it's hard to pick a favorite. What would you say would be the most memorable where it just could catastrophically went wrong? Oh, went wrong? No, nothing's ever gone wrong. Right. No. See, a legend. Have, a legend. No, because you have like the next take or the next take to make it right. So I'm pretty lucky. I've never had anything go wrong. Are you working on anything currently? A um, Friday the 13th video game, a remake of the movie Nightmare City, a documentary on my work called Smoke and Mirrors, a coffee table picture book of all my stuff. Yeah. Uh, for the video game, what are you? What do you have your hand in? I'm creating Jason. I'm creating the kills. And we're doing motion capture on Kane Hodder playing Jason again. That's amazing. Like, because we do uh, video game guys and reviews and walkthroughs online for YouTube, um, and people love to hear about that kind of stuff. Well, this was going to be called Summer Camp, but they just recently got the rights from Sean Cunningham to use the Friday the Thirteenth logo. Since we're here, um, is there any charities or local, like, or anything that's near and dear to your heart organizations that people should know about? That you just, just the animal rescue league. You know? yeah. I'm a cat lover. Uh, this is kitten season. There's a kitten special on your animal rescue right here in, uh, in Nova. So go get a kitten. Well, that's it for a Motor City right. Comic Con 2015. This is Tom Sabini and Nate. Thank you so much for giving your time.